Today, I'm going to be showing you how to install Text Generation Web UI, also known as Uba Booga, on your local computer. Now, I feel like every time I hear the word Uba Booga, you have to say it like this. Uba Booga. But anyway, Text Generation Web UI allows you to run open source models on your computer. So you can run a variety of different models on your own machine. So instead of giving your data to OpenAI or Anthropic or some of these other commercial models, you can run your own models locally on your own machine that may even be more tailored to your tasks. So let's go and dive in and I'll show you how to install this. All right, so I have the Text Generation Web UI GitHub pulled up here, as you can see, and I'm just gonna scroll down here. And you can see it says Text Generation Web UI, a Gradio Web UI for large language models. Its goal is to become the automatic 1111 Stable Diffusion Web UI text generation. I'm going to scroll down here to the features, and you can see that it supports multiple model backends, which is extremely useful. You can see it has transformers, Llama CVP, XLAMA, XLAMA V2, and C transformers, to name a few. It also allows for 4-bit and 8-bit quantization, and it also has an API if you're developing your own large language model apps. Now I'm going to scroll down here to the installation instructions and you can see it has some one click installers that makes it really easy to install this. So what we're going to do first is we're going to clone and download the repo. And what we'll do is we'll just copy this URL here and we'll switch to our terminal and we'll run git clone, paste in that URL. And then I'm going to name this into a different folder as I do already have this installed. And I'm just going to call it textgen dash tutorial. And as you can see, it's downloading the repo and it's done. And so now what we're going to do is we're just going to go into that directory. I'm just gonna run CD textgen dash tutorial and we'll switch back to the browser for the next step. And let me scroll down here. Whoops, oh, and there we go. And you can see the second step here is to run the start Linux, start Windows, start Mac OS, start WSL script, depending on your operating system. Now I do have a Mac, so I'm going to run the start Mac OS script. However, if you have a Windows or a Linux system, you are going to run those scripts. And that really is the only difference in the installation. So we'll go back over here to the terminal and I'm going to run dot slash start Mac OS dot sh. And we'll see it start to download all the different things that it needs to run. And the first thing you see here is it uses Miniconda. So it uses a virtual Python environment. And what this means is it's not going to affect your Python installation locally. It'll use its own virtual environment. And we'll see how that works in a minute here. Okay, and the next thing it's going to do is it's going to ask you, what is your GPU? Now, if you have an NVIDIA GPU or some other type of GPU, you're going to choose those options. I have an Apple Silicon M1, so I'm going to choose C, Apple M series. However, you do not need a GPU. If you don't have a GPU, you can select none and you can select the I want to run models in my CPU mode. However, just be aware that it's going to be much slower and you're only going to be able to use these smaller models with that. So with that, I'll input C and we'll continue on. All right, so you can see it's finished here and we'll go over the first thing first is that warning. Uh, you haven't downloaded any model yet. We'll get to that in a minute. And then I'm just going to copy this URL here of the server that started for text generation web UI. And we'll copy this URL and we'll switch over to Chrome. Here you go. You can see I pasted that URL into the address bar here. And this is the text generation web UI. It's a pretty simple web UI, but very effective. We have the chat tab, the default tab, notebook tab, uh, parameters model, etc. Now the default tab, you can choose different prompt templates if you have them as well as with the notebook tab as well. And you can save and store your chats for later if you want to review them. You can also view things in text, markdown, or HTML. And now we'll get to the model tab, which is going to be the main part of this tutorial. You can see that we do not have any models loaded in our text generation web UI yet. However, one of the best places to grab these models is Hugging Face. So we'll switch over here to Hugging Face and what we're going to do is we're going to grab the Llama 2 7B chat GGUF version of the Llama 2 model. 
Now, the GGUF version is compatible with Llama CPP. If you're using a different model backend, you can download different formats that match your model backend. However, for a Mac, Llama CPP really runs these the best. Now, what we can do here is we can scroll down, or what, what we can do here is we can copy the username and the model name and paste it right into this box here. And then we can go back to the Hugging Face page and grab the specific file that we want. Now, as you can see here, they have a bunch of different files with different quantization versions and different amount of RAM required. I like to use the Q4K underscore M model as it's a good balance between size of the model on my hard drive and RAM. So I'm just gonna copy that here and then I'll switch over to this tab and I'll just paste it right into the web, web Gen UI. And then we'll click download and it'll download it for us right from that Hugging Face repository. All right, it's complete. And now we're just going to go up to the top here and we're gonna click that refresh button. And as you can see, the model now shows up and we're going to select it. And then as you can see, it automatically selected Llama CPP, but you can go in here and change the model backend if you have a different version of the model. And now for the NGPU layers, I'm gonna choose one so that it uses my GPUs for a Mac. Uh, it has a 4096 context length. For the threads, I'm gonna choose 16 as I have a 16 thread processor. And all these other settings, I'm gonna leave the same. If you are just using your CPU and you don't want to use any of your GPU, you can click this CPU checkbox and it'll just run on your CPU. However, it is going to be a lot slower than if you're able to use your GPU. So I'm going to just uncheck that. And now I can hit load. And then when we switch to our terminal, we're going to see that it loaded the model in about 0.6 seconds. So pretty good. Now we'll switch back to Chrome and we'll see how the model works. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to go back to the model page and we need to see if they have a specific prompt template. And as you can see here, they do have a specific prompt template. So I'm just going to copy that. And now I'm gonna go back to Chrome. I'm gonna go back to Texture and WebView. I'm gonna choose the default tab. I'm gonna go down to the bottom here. I'm gonna click none. That's gonna clear out this input box. I'm gonna paste that prompt in. And now I can go down to the bottom and save this. And I'm just gonna call it Llama27B prompt. That way, Whenever I use this model, I have the prompt template stored and I can just replace prompt with what I want to ask the model. All right, now we'll go and check it out. Let's delete this prompt and let's start off with an easy one. Let's go with what is two plus two? And there you can see it's working and it generated an answer. It says, thank you for your kind, uh, respectful request. I'm happy to help you with your question. The answer to two plus two is four. I hope that helps you. If you have any other questions, please, feel free to ask. Now let's try another prompt here and let's go with who is Bill Gates? Try a little history uh, in general knowledge. And there you can go, let's see it generates the answer again. It says, uh, who is Bill Gates? Hello, I'm here to help you with your question. Bill Gates is a well-known American entrepreneur, software developer, and philanthropist. And with that, you can see that this model is now up and working on your local computer. How cool is that. All right, so hopefully you learned how to install Text Generation Web UI on your own computer. If you have any issues getting it set up, you know, please drop a comment below and I'm going to try to help you as best as I can. And as always, if you enjoyed this content, please consider liking and subscribing or even sharing the video with a friend. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.